What are you, what are you doing? When I said engage hover mode, I didn't know she was gonna move around like that. I know it's been a couple weeks since I last posted an episode of our Nightmare Legacy Challenge, and you can blame the new expansion pack for that. New Sims packs always kind of throw off my regular upload schedule. And then also it took me literally forever to build the new house for this series, so we kind of had to hold off to get that finished first. But it's done, we're all set up now, and we can finally get back to normal in this series, which I guess isn't really all that normal at all. So just to catch you up to speed real quick, we've been playing this Legacy Challenge for a really long time, and we kind of just started started a new legacy challenge. We played 10 full generations and then we kind of took a break, held off for a second, and then restarted again after I like merged two of my Let's Plays. And with that great merge, April from my generation series and Dory from my legacy challenge got married and now they have a robot and three kids. This robot is called Nina and then our three kids are Belle, Tinker, and May. We also have a little tiny cat called Betty. And we've spent the last little while living in this tiny, tiny house out in Copperdale. I have really, really loved living here in this house. I think it's so cute. It's been so fun being here, but we've kind of outgrown it. You can see I sort of like stole the right side and we've moved our family into that side even. We don't really even have a bedroom for the new baby. I just stuck their stuff in this robot room. So like this is clearly not gonna work. Ew, 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 ew. Look at those dirty dishes in there. I'm sorry. Let me just get rid of that real quick. So I have an idea to solve this tiny house problem and it's gonna involve some cheats and a lot of setup on our end. But I'm really curious about trying to use the new expansion pack in a sort of alternative way. Obviously it's a rent pack and it's about being a landlord, but I kind of want to try to use it to have my Sims extended family live with us. Just imagine this house is not only one house for a second and say we live here on the left, our grandparents live here, maybe our siblings in a townhouse next door, and then we could have the whole family living on one lot. I feel like that's super good for a legacy challenge like this, but then it involves us being a landlord landlord and like us paying a lot of money to own the building. So I don't really know how it's gonna work out. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through and take all of my stuff back, like our photos, our diplomas, any of those things that might be kind of important to us that I'll want to bring with me to the new house. Look, see, like this picture of Judith Ward. I can't leave that. <laughs> That's really important. We have a lot of cute little things. I've got graduation photos. I've got some of these little snow globes. I think that should be everything though. There's not too many items that can't be replaced aside from like my fire toilet and then maybe a couple of these plants if I want to bring those with me. Let me show you what I built though because I made this giant set of four townhouses and I actually made a video doing this over the weekend if you want to go and watch it. I'll link that down below for you. In total it costs 311,000 simoleons and there's a unit for us, there's one for our siblings, our parents, our other siblings. I kind of want to have everybody live here together and I built this with the intention of placing it in Brindleton Bay. I thought it would go really well on, oh, okay. <laughs> it said not available for this lot. These rentals are so annoying to work with at times. You have to swap the lot type and then place it. And of course it's gonna take actually forever to place because the lot is so big and so complicated. But this is what we're working with. I tried to make all four of the units very unique and very different looking. This one is where I'm planning on our Sims living. So it's very pink and purple and it's got a lot of similar vibes to what we have right now. It's also the biggest because I gave them like a bigger backyard and I kind of stole some space from their neighbor's units. <laughs> but this is what we're working with. So we've got a little entryway right here. We have a bathroom downstairs. We've got this kind of cute kitchen dining combo. And then we have this beautiful living room. They also have a basement with stuff for the robot. We've got a laundry room down here. Don't worry, I put fake versions of the water heater because I knew that I was not gonna maintain it well enough, but I wanted to have some sort of utility closet. And then upstairs, we've got a bedroom for the kids, a bedroom for the baby, and then our primary bedroom, plus a lot of space to have cute photos on the wall and like some clutter around the place. And then this is what I was talking about by stealing space. I kind of stole this extra area from the unit next door so we could have an office. We currently have a toddler and a child and this room is obviously decorated for two children. So <laughs> we might have to make some swaps of some things, but it's short lifespan. So they're not gonna be a toddler for very long. And then in our little backyard, we have a hopscotch thing. We've got some toddler toys. We also have a grill and a table. And I tried to connect all of the backyards because I liked the idea of seeing our neighbors out and about kind of like flowing freely through all of these places. In this case, the neighbors are literally my Sims family. So I'm okay with them like coming into our backyard uninvited. I kind of want to see them around. And then the idea for the other units is that I wanted to put Dory's brother Silver and his kid in this one. I wanted
wanted to have April's parents live here, and then I wanted to have April's brothers live here in this one. This is gonna take a little bit of setup and a lot of cheating to make work, and I don't even know if I'm gonna want to do it long term. I like the idea of it, but I'm not sure if I actually want to be a landlord in game for like four units. I'm okay with pretending and like helping out family when their pipes burst and stuff like that, but there is always the concern of like our brother revolting against us, which is funny and maybe a good thing for a challenge called the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm prepared for being a landlord becoming annoying after a while, and I might just sell it and then move in as a tenant instead. We'll kind of just see how it goes. I am going to buy this whole building. Oh my god, I need more money than I have. Let me just cheat for like 500,000. Oh, that's 50,000. That's not gonna work. <laughs> that is certainly not gonna cover it. I don't normally do money cheats in this Legacy Challenge, but I'm okay with it for this generation, and then we can cheat the money away next time if we get too bored of being too rich. I've played through 11 generations now. Like, it, it's fine if we want to do a little second of cheating, I think. Especially in this case when it's more about the story and less about the challenge. But yeah, I can see myself cheating away their kids' money by the time we get to the next generation. Okay, so we're all set up. We own the building. I do want to move myself into this one, and then I have to move my family <laughs> into all of the other ones. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a lot. What happened to your child? I gave these two a child. <laughs> I was just looking, because these were our friends from college. Huh, okay. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that kind of stresses me out. Let me just evict my own household, and then I will move us over here into Brindleton Bay. Optional furnishing, zero dollars. Is that because I own it? Remaining funds... 500. This confuses me, to be honest. Let me just check that that worked. <laughs> Let me make sure I still own it. Okay, we're all set. We've got everything. It looks like it worked just fine. This is what it looks like when you're actually playing here. So it's not as jarring because we don't have to see all of the other unit's furniture. It's like a little bit overwhelming looking at the whole build all at once when it's like four builds on one lot. But this view really isn't so bad. Oh, May hates being held. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, thank you. Now that we live in Brindleton Bay, I might want to go through and place some new lots down too, so we can have some new community lots, but that can be for a different day. So this is Dory's brother, Silver, and I'm gonna move him in next door. You can sell your furniture. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm realizing that I need to go get his stuff because he lives in the main Bell Legacy house So he's got like all of the old photos and everything. We just can't lose this stuff like this is important <laughs> My random portraits of the Grim Reaper that's serious But these are also like old wedding photos from generations long gone So I really would prefer to not lose them. This is the original fire toilet. We can't lose that either. Oh It's Lola <laughs> That was the dog. This is horrible. Moving out of legacy houses is genuinely sad. Like being here and seeing all of my old stuff and then leaving it behind kind of makes me want to cry. I know I'm being dramatic, but this, it's just sad, okay? Look at all of this. The gallery wall of generations long gone. This was a nice house. This is like probably, oh, whoa. Okay, thank you. I don't know what that just did. Oh, this would have been Blue's graduation photo, I think. It's broken. Okay, well, I think we've got all of the good stuff now. I was also thinking about having Silver adopt another baby, which I might as well do now too. <laughs> like, we may as well do it while we're here. Emily. I don't know, I just kind of clicked on one. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Emily and Bruce. Those are kind of good names, actually. Okay, Emily, welcome in. <laughs> welcome home, which is short-lived because you're going to a new home. This is going to be fun, though, because we'll have cousins living right next door to us. Rich cousins. <laughs> Rich cousins with $146,000. We can pretend that we all pooled our money. All of the Sims, they, they combined their money together to buy these buildings, okay? <laughs> yes, I cheated to give my Sims $500,000, but we pooled it together. Whoa, what is going on here? Here. Why do the goths have so many sims? Who- <laughs> Who are you? Oh, it's dogs. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so my sims brother, April's brother, Arthur, is dating Alexander Goth. Huh. Those are all kind of scary looking dogs, actually. Earl and Liliana. Those are really good names for randomly generated goth sims. I'm pretty impressed by that. Porkchop and Porkchop's twin, Shaky. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> what? I can't swap you? Are you kidding? I have mods so my sims can have more than eight sims. <laughs> 
problems. And it causes me so many problems when they go and adopt a million dogs. I guess I can steal a couple of them. Do you want to have the cat and the dog Meryl? <laughs> Meryl's kind of scary. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move them into the far right house, which I have intentionally decorated to- Okay, they don't have any money. <laughs> which I have intentionally decorated to be kind of goth family-like. It's very red and black in there. I didn't give them stuff for any pets, but they'll be okay. <laughs> so this is the household that belongs to April's parents, and I was just gonna go through and grab the photos and things like that from here too. We have a lot of really cute things from their childhood that I don't really want to lose. Like look at all these photos from weddings and old parties and stuff like that. This is April's childhood bedroom. She lived on this side to share with her twin brother. I really like this room. This was cute. Oh, it was April's grandparents. Look, 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 that's April. <laughs> <laughs> when she was tiny. Oh, I really went all out with the photos, didn't I? I took this seriously. Is that April too? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. I need to make more of an effort to take more photos in game. It's always fun to have. Okay, I think we should be good to move out of here now as well. Looking back at this, my legacy houses are always a mess. Just like the robots in the front yard. It worked out though, because now we have Nina. This is really a trip down memory lane today. <laughs> All right, let me move in the grandparents last. Here's the other problem. Um, I'm playing on short lifespan, so I really think that they're gonna die. I feel like we don't have a lot of time left with those two, but it'll be okay. Their son will be there if they die, so at least it's not gonna be empty. There are a couple other little last minute setup things I'd like to do, but for now, I kind of want to just play and see how this goes. Oh my god, we're all just outside. Okay. <laughs> hey, they're all four stars. That's good at least. Should I give them rules? I No. <laughs> I don't think I should charge money to my family for rule breaking. That feels wrong, doesn't it? Okay, can you put the baby in the bed, please? And then maybe what I'll also do is just put that bed in our inventory and then get a toddler bed to replace it for now. I'll just leave it there. I Okay, I probably should scoot this back too. <laughs> I don't love how it looks, but it's gonna have to do for now. It'll be short-lived. And then maybe I'll cheat our money down to like 7,309 because I don't need $500,000. I'm overwhelmed. I know I'm just starting, but I'm really overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, okay, kid, come here. This is your room. I'm just gonna teleport you up so you're out of the rain. If I have to do things to make stuff go faster, then so be it. Oh, oh, there is one last thing. There is one other big problem. I did, unfortunately, forget to put a food bowl for the cat, so I am gonna need to add in one of those. <laughs> a food bowl is sort of a necessity here. Okay, I think we should be good, though. Anybody have anything cute you want to hang up? Oh, like our marriage certificate. I love decorating my Sims houses with their stuff. <laughs> I could sit here all day going through and putting my stuff out on the walls and everything. Look at this little horse statue. Like that's kind of iconic. Meat cube. <laughs> I can put that on the desk. I will go through and put our family photos up later, but for now I kind of want to play. What are you doing? You're going to clean up? What could you possibly have to clean up? Who's already putting plates out here? Why are you doing this? We just moved in. Look, 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 it's Jasmine. Are you dying? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When, you know how elders do that thing when they like put their arms out and then they've like lay down on the floor to die? That's what I thought she was doing. Instead, she was being attacked by an invisible cat. I was like, no way you're dying right now. Seven days left. Oh, that's plenty of time. Oh my goodness. That makes me feel so relieved. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I told you to bring the kid upstairs. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. You know what? You add the baby thing. I'll make Nina take care of the baby in the meantime. <laughs> you bring the kid inside. Nina. Oh my god, I think the kid's broken. Can no one gets to the- okay, it's just asleep. You can sleep there. You can sleep on the porch. I don't care. It's fine. I, at this point, I've accepted my fate in this challenge. Like, <laughs> this is just what's gonna happen here, and that's okay. There is one last thing we need to do, and it's put my fire toilet down. I think I'll put it in the primary bedroom. Oh, it like tried to disappear. I'll put it here because it's probably the least likely to cause me problems. <laughs> and then I'll put Nina's plants back upstairs as well. That'll be cute. She's got some room for some extras if she wants them. Oh, she had a waffle maker before. Maybe I should put that back. What if I got a pizza maker outside? Wait, does anyone have room for pizza? <laughs> hold on, hold on. What if in this one, I put like an outdoor kitchen with pizza? This is such a waste of money. It's a waste of my own money as well. Like I'm spending my Sims money to do this. This is, what? It, hello? Oh, okay. It won't be, it, um, it won't be placed. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I can't click on it. Why is it doing this to me? <sighs> I, sometimes I'm not sure if I like this game. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Sorry, everybody. False alarm. Pizza. Nope, it doesn't want to place. Pizza. Okay, now we have pizza. Now I feel good. <laughs> That's enough. We can stop there. We can actually go to bed now. Something else interesting that I feel I should probably address. So there were some comments and concerns about Nina not having a bedroom. <laughs> But here's the thing, she's a robot, so she doesn't need one. Like, she can just stand there and charge in the middle of the room, which 
which is kind of what I've been doing. I kind of just let her be and she just like stands there and charges and, and that's okay. I feel like that works for my purposes right now. Okay, the baby is screaming. Are you gonna put the baby to bed? Yes, maybe. May be. Is <laughs> the baby's name is May. I am so excited to reach a point right now where we're gonna not have any more infants. Like as soon as this thing ages up, we're done with infants for a long time. Two days. We can make it through two days. Oh, Tinkerbell can barely make it through tonight. I probably should have aged her up today. Oops. Okay, well, this is why I built a room for children because she doesn't need a toddler bed really any longer. What are you doing? Put the kid back down. Why do you do this? Why does nobody take care of infants appropriately? Play lullaby. Here you go. Okay, let's just go to sleep. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Auto lights, let's go. <gasps> look, oh, never mind. It's the neighbor's dog. Look, 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 look. Oh, Shadow is stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I didn't really even think about that initially, like trying to have dogs live here with our family, but it's actually really fun. Um, I tried to have Nina self-repair, but I don't think anything's actually happening. Or does it just take that long to self-repair? It feels like nothing is moving or changing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she's frozen, but I think that maybe the robots just are that way. Uh-oh, the kid's awake. All right, here we go. <laughs> Time to get a move on. Isn't there no food in the house? Oh, did it come with us? Oh, good. Okay, we brought our leftovers from the old house. <laughs> that makes me feel better. April, I'm sorry, you have to wake up and feed the baby. It's urgent. First blowout milestone. Oh my god. All right, here we go. <laughs> we are in for it now with the infants. Eat dough? What are you- what are you doing? When I said engage hover mode, I didn't know she was gonna- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh at her, it's mean. Wow, that is fascinating. She's really just eating plain dough. There's food in there, like, like meals, and you went and got dough out of the fridge. I don't even think I realized that you could eat that. <laughs> in The Sims. Like, it's an ingredient, I guess, so it makes sense, but oh, oh, and the neighbor's dog is in my house. Okay, that's new. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. Can I help you? Nina, do you think you could bathe the dog? Because it's kind of bothering me how stinky she is. <laughs> could you help us? Or probably not. Oh, don't go out there. Don't go out there, Nina. Unless the dog comes back to you, you can't go in the rain. You will die, and I can't have her die. I need Nina's help still. I don't think I can bathe the dog. That's okay. <laughs> I don't need to bathe the neighbor's dog. I'll be fine. What are you doing? I am sick and tired of my Sims just putting the baby on the floor and not doing anything about it. The, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I've lived here for like one day. <laughs> Less than. Please put the fire out. Why did I even bring this with me? No, we can't. Ha we can't not have it. Let's get a screenshot for the memories of the first ever fire in this house. This is like a tradition of this challenge, so we can't ever lose it. It's important to maintain, but it does feel a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Every time that happens, it's like, okay, this might be the last straw. We made some money from our book royalties, so at least that helps. And everyone's outside in the rain. Everyone is outside in the rain, even Nina. Thank you. That was really helpful, Nina. Well, you can just leave the baby baby there, is now a bad time to come try and weed and harvest these carrots? You don't have work, so that means you could probably give a bath to the baby. The toddler's awake and playing on her iPad. Ugh. Do you want to meet your uncle? He's standing right there. No? Okay, he doesn't want to meet you. He walked away. That's fine. That's fine. This is really chaotic having everybody here. I do like it though. It's nice that like all the family, we're gonna have a welcome wagon and it's gonna be my family, which Oh, okay, my cat is attacking Izzy Fabulous. That's good, that's good. As you should, you know, <laughs> of course. As you should, I feel like that was the right choice. You're late to work, so that's not good. Not that it really matters, we maxed the work we're already level 10, so you can keep it up if you'd like. Okay, shall we invite the neighbors in, everybody? Nice to meet you to my literal family who's all standing outside. Dory just became acquaintances with her own dead dog. Lola was the dog that she grew up with. Her parents had that dog when she was young. And I don't really know how she became acquaintances with it, given that the dog is, is no longer with us, but okay, that's fine. Whatever. I've learned to just accept what the game throws at me. We should probably go welcome again. Is that passive aggressive or do you mean that? Because I didn't mean to offend you. I was trying to bathe the baby. You can fly holding babies? Oh my god. That fascinates me truly. This whole robot thing is just so different from, from anything I've ever been used to having. <laughs> <laughs> and look, Nina's even autonomously bathing the baby. I love this game. What are you doing? Tell me you're not just gonna put it on the floor all the way out this way. Are you serious? Where did you even go? <gasps> Where'd you put the baby? Oh my god, she's lost. I think she brought the kid to the neighbor's house. Where? You guys, I, can't, I think she went in there. What the heck? I didn't even know that they could do that. They went into the void. She walked through the house and is now walking back upstairs to put the baby to bed? Question mark? 
you know, I take it back. <laughs> I don't like the game anymore. I have really gone back and forth on this one today. It's it's given me a lot of mixed opinions. Okay, Nina, maybe now would be a good time for you to bake a cake so we can age up the toddler though. I think that Tinker may end up being the heir. So this is kind of serious. <laughs> Let's make a white cake. Or you could just stand there and not do anything. That's good too. Oh, never mind. Sorry. False alarm. <laughs> My bad. Bella's back from school. April's back from work. We're all doing okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> You've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. What? <laughs> You're both elders. You know what? I would really prefer for April to not have any more kids. Also, the fact that Jasmine is calling, this is not her daughter. I know it's confusing. Dory is her daughter-in-law. She's calling her daughter-in-law to ask if she should try for a baby. And I think you should. You're having a baby? Huh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said to do that, huh? That may have been a mistake now that I think about it. All right, let's have our birthday. I might have Nina help. She's gonna fly again holding me. <laughs> and I kind of like it. I'm doing this just so that Nina can fly with the baby. Oh, our brother's here. Okay, here we go. Ready? It is the birthday of a legacy heir. And now we're gonna fly and set her down somewhere? Or are we stuck? Hard to say. Okay, it wasn't that bad of a glitch. You never know with this game. I know, again, really back and forth on my feelings here. And the baby's walking all the way outside to age up. We're going all the way around to the side of the house to age up. All right, now. With my legacy challenges, I really like to randomize traits. I just think it's kind of interesting. So we're going to randomize her trait now and it will be active. Okay, okay, I can see that. We can pick one of the multi-skill ones, like the mind and body one or something. And then we should probably go into cast and give her a makeover. Cast up full edit mode. Oh, and real quick, let me put the bed back. <laughs> We had one night where this bedroom was inappropriate, but at least now it makes sense again. I really like the color scheme in here. I think it's cute. So hopefully you like it too. I'm actually really proud of all four of these builds. I'll show you the interiors more like as we're playing and visiting family and stuff. But for now, if you want to go back and watch the build video, I can link it for you down below. So here is Tinkerbell. Oh my God. She's actually really cute. <laughs> I want to give her some different teeth. I really like the little gap teeth. So I might do those. I need to make more of an effort to like customize my Sims more, you know? I'll randomize her likes and dislikes as well. It says she likes pink. She can like green because, you know, Tinkerbell. She likes pessimistic <laughs> sims. She hates Latin pop music, apparently. Enjoys discussing interests and hates singing. Sure. I like the randomizing because I feel like it gives you a starting point for a storyline. And then maybe we should try and use some of the new stuff. We could use like one of the new hairs from the pack. I really like this one. I think I might use this one. And then what if she wore green? Like all green all the time. We can do this in a kind of chaotic way, which I think is always fun, especially for kids. They don't need to be fashionable. We can just be kind of exciting with it. I have never seen that swatch before and I'm not kidding. Literally never seen that swatch. Okay, here's an idea. What if I use this skirt and this little shirt? I don't know if these colors are okay. I actually kind of like that together. As we all know, I am extremely good at overthinking when I'm dressing my Sims. So this might be like a whole thing. Ooh, is the green one better? I think the green is better. She also has hearing aids, so I'll put those back too. I never, ever, ever, ever use this dress. I don't really like it. I don't know how to explain it. There's just something off about it. I, I never liked this dress. In general, most of these green dresses are not working for me. I kind of like this one. We could use the little blue shoes. It is more of like a yellowy color than a green, but it does still kind of work. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing what they randomize to. Their outfits are always so chaotic. So here's what I'm thinking for her athletic outfit. I like this combo of these pants and this little tank top. It makes me want to use the tank top again. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't, but like this would have been good for sleepwear instead, huh? We have way more of a need for sleepwear than athletic wear. I don't know if, oh wait, but she's active. Oh, well, let me switch this then. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> I guess that is kind of like a defining factor of this sim. She has one trait and it's active, so I probably shouldn't forget. How about this little outfit together? I like the watermelon shirt and I've never really used this combo of these shorts. I know I always say this, but I have a feeling we're not gonna need a party wear outfit. <laughs> my sims don't usually have that many social events. Oh my god, this is so cute. How have I never seen this before? <laughs> How did I like somehow miss that? I like this little outfit too. I don't know what she should wear. If I wear this, can you see a necklace on top? Because you know how sometimes when you put your sims in a little necklace, it hides. Why? Why does it tuck the necklace in? I want to see it. It's so cute. You can't wear this anymore. Sorry. This one doesn't tuck in. Oh my god. Look at this little flower 
one. I have also never used this. I think that's perfect for this. I'm gonna make her wear a matching green nail polish and a matching green hat as well. I know I've gone a little bit overboard with the green, but again, I, I just think it's kind of fun. Sometimes it's fun to go all out. So let me show you all of her outfits. This is her everyday wear. We've got our formal outfit, athletic outfit, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear. Here's our hot weather and also our cold weather. And now we can finally get back into the game. Sorry that took me so long. I was just kind of excited. I'm not 100% sure if she'll be the heir. I like to wait until the Sims are a little bit older so we can see more of their traits because I don't want to make a choice right now and then what if we randomize Sims and they have better ones or something, but I, I think I like her to be the heir. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Or May. It could be May. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what May's traits are going to be. Hard to decide when it's just a, oh, new personality treat. Fine. Treat? Trait. Sorry. You could be neat. That's okay, Nina. Well, anyway, it's hard to decide when it's just a tiny little sleeping baby <laughs> who currently screams a lot and I'm currently kind of mad at. It, that'll be short-lived though. The kid won't be annoying forever. It's only when they're infants. <laughs> it's been raining a lot, which is kind of unpleasant and also unfortunately just sort of the nature of this world. <laughs> it rains a lot in Brindleton Bay. But look at this, my family's just out and about. Arthur's over here. You could come talk to him. Like that's your uncle. Do you even, oh, you don't even know him. Yikes. <laughs> Well, this is a good excuse to cheat relationship with our family, right? This is my grandparent. How do I not know them? Oh my God, I'm cheating all of it. I don't even feel bad. Why is this not cheating up? Oh, you don't know anyone else in your family. <laughs> we'll have to make an effort to try and meet them. It's hard because they can't really meet toddlers very easily when you're playing as the toddler. Talk about sibling. Talk about the rain. Enthuse about candy. Discuss your interests. What's wrong with the cat? Oh, there, here comes Nina. <laughs> Every time she flies around, it kind of scares me. You are a strange little cat, my friend. A very strange little cat. I'm gonna take some pictures of you though. What's wrong with you? Litter? You have a litter box. Do you want me to move it up? I can put it up here. I'm not really that worried about it being in the living room or anything. We can just put it over here instead of in the basement. I don't know if that'll make it easier for the cat. Do you want to come try? You can't like click on it and encourage Sim to use it, can you? Do I need to clean it? No. Are you gonna try? I don't know how to help you. If you won't help yourself, Betty, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh, here we go. Oh, she's fine. Okay, we're good. So everybody, false alarm. Why do they even call? My Sim is level 10 in her career. So in what world, truly, in what world would I quit my job to become a level four athlete? After I went all, I went to college, I have all these bonuses, why? This is like an offensive offer. Okay, well, speaking of offensive, there is one other thing that we have to fix today <laughs> so that we're set up for the future. And um, my friends, I owe you all an apology. So you know how a while back I merged two of my saves? I had this like generation style let's play with growing together and I had my legacy challenge save. And my legacy save was really old and it was being really weird and kind of laggy and I was worried that it was breaking. So I decided to bring my legacy sims into my other save. So I kind of like merged the two let's plays and I had two of the sims marry each other and now we're playing with them together. Yeah, so when I brought all the sims, I spent a long time making sure I fixed all the relationships and brought all their family and like set everything back up because I wanted it to seem like the new save was a carbon copy of the old save, just fresher and hopefully not broken. Well, in that process, I sort of forgot about somebody. Dory, my legacy heir, actually has another brother and he's not here. I never brought him to this save. He got lost in the void. I don't know if any of you noticed this and like put it in the comments, but it wasn't a lot of people because I never saw anybody say this until a few days ago when I was building the new house and somebody in my Twitch chat was like, hey, what about Gary's room? And I was like, oh my God, Gary. This is kind of a sad day because I have to go back into my old save and a lot of the Sims that are dead now were still alive back then. May baby Belle rest in peace. This is Lola, by the way, the dog who my Sim claimed to be friends with today. But you guys, I completely forgot about Gary. This is Gary. I think the reason I forgot about him is because he was so much older than Dory that he like moved out long before her. So I kind of forgot that he existed, which I know is so bad. It's so bad. We had cousins and everything and I just completely left them behind. So if we look at the family tree for a second here, you'll see our Sim Dory, our current legacy heir. This is her mom, Baby Belle, who was the previous legacy heir and her other mom, Marina Mullins. When Marina and Baby started dating, Marina already had a son and his name 
was Garrison. He lived with us. Like, Baby treated him as her own son. <laughs> he was a child when they got married, but like, we raised him, you know? And somehow, I just completely forgot about him. Look, this was his bedroom. He lived right here. Oh my god. And so when I transferred the save, for some reason I didn't bring him with me. So I have to do that now. Oh dear. <laughs> we have a charity drive going on. <laughs> Let me just leave real quick. I feel like I've dishonored Marina's memory by forgetting about her son. It's terrible. I know she's a simp. Like, I know in my heart that doesn't actually matter that much, but I still feel bad. So look at this. This is Gary. He's got some interesting traits. The guy's like evil. He loves cats. He married Catherine. Catherine has a sister named Christy. And then this is Gary's son, Gene. And for some reason, I just never brought them with me. So I am going to make it up to him. I'm gonna give the- whoa. I was gonna give him a cat. This one's kind of scary looking. <laughs> Jerry. Oh, Gary and his cat, Jerry. Okay. And I'm just gonna save these sims to my library and I'll move them over so we can get them into the correct save. There's not really enough space for Gary in the townhouse. I thought about having him live in one of the bedrooms, but it wouldn't really feel fair given that he has a whole family. And of course, I remembered him too late after I already like worked on building this for hours. So um, he doesn't get to live here, but he can live here in the save at least. Unfortunately, I am gonna evict this random family so I can have Gary live in our world. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, this is much better. Now we have one final thing to do. If you ever wonder how I managed to like set all this stuff up and have the family tree still work, it just takes some swapping of households and some cast off full edit mode. As long as I set- uh oh. <laughs> Wait, why can't I make Gary my brother? Why can't I set him as my brother? Okay, um, well, I don't want to be his fiance. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. That is something I'm not interested in. We can just pretend he's our brother. Okay, I give up. Never mind. This game, it's too much for me. I've already caused enough problems. Let's, let's stop messing with it. Normally that works. I'm not sure why it's not working right now and I don't care to find out. Gary is back though. I fixed it. And I think on that note, <laughs> this is probably a good time to end the episode. I realize it's been a lot of setup today, but hopefully you had fun anyway. Like I mentioned earlier, I am gonna link the build video down below if you want to go back and watch that. And then starting next week, we'll be completely back to normal everyday average gameplay. Well, I guess it, you can never call this save normal everyday or average. It's just, it's, it's not that. <laughs> There's way too much going on for it to be that. We have a robot. Like, that ship has sailed. Oh, are you guys playing games together? <gasps> That's so cute. Oh, I love these sims. Okay. Okay, this is a good stopping point. Thank you for watching, <laughs> and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Gary. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I did that, and I feel, truly, I feel guilty about it, but at least things are mostly fixed now.